Hi, this is Robert's Country Cooking, and I'm back tonight. We're going to be making cube steak, and I'm going to be putting brown gravy over the cube steak. And this is the way it's going to be made, and I'm going to show you. Anyhow, it's relatively easy. You just watch how. It's not that hard. I'm going to preheat pre my oil. I'm going to put on number four here. And we'll crack me three eggs to the bowl. This is to coat the, this is to coat the meat and then you'll dip it in your little mix over here. And over here at the end, I have cornbread, self and flour. Um, you know the bread you buy to bread like pork chops with? I throw that in there, I throw a little bit of salt and pepper, and some uh, seasoning. And that is so good to bread this in. Anyway, that's what's in the pan over here, the white stuff. You see the flour and stuff. And we're gonna bread the meat in that. There's another egg. And I learned this one trick, breaking an egg thing at work. There we go. There we go. And I love that trick. My old boss lady taught me how to do that. And what you want to do, you don't use that forking of flour. Get any fork. <laughs> Get any fork. I'm gonna break those eggs. This meat has got like a dark color to it. And before I even started recording, I picked it up and was looking at it. But it's just the meat. There's nothing. I don't know what's wrong with it. The meat's brand new. I just got it with this part. So. Anyway, you want to these the eggs real good. Don't put a bunch of air into them, but whip them just enough. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll sit, switch sides here. I should have done this before. Because on this side over here, I'll turn you around real quick. You can see if I can get the camera over there. The oil right there, I'm gonna drop those guys in it. And everything. That's that pussy of the egg. So this way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go flour, I'm gonna go meat into the flour, or and meat into the egg, and then from the egg I'm putting here. And bread it real good. And then probably I'm thinking about I'm gonna plate it on a plate over here on the side. This counter just ain't got enough room for Mr. Reeves to work in. Um please stay right there for me. Will you do that? And then go put my plate over here. And as I'm getting it breaded, I'll just lay that there. I'll bread it. Okay, get your fork. Take your meat. I put it in there like that. I usually put like, I don't like this thing long ways. It gets on my nerves. I used to doing everything. Kind of like in a conveyor belt, you get the job done easier. I figured this out. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to get this plate on the stove right here. Okay, I as I was saying before I got off topic, I usually put like two, maybe three pieces of meat in here. Get them soaked in the egg real good. And they come in like four big pieces, but I like to cut mine in small pieces. That way I can have a little bit more. I think it's better to eat anyway, you know, like that. Everybody has their own preferences, whatever. Put that one in there. Okay, I'll stop right there. And... Goodness gracious, that's got a lot of blood in the bottom of the bowl. Ooh. And I've drained that, y'all. I can't tell you how many times. Okay, what you'll do is you'll pull this up. Let the egg drain off of it. That's the way I do. I'll let the egg drain completely off. And then... You get some egg on the counter, of course it's going to happen. It's fine. And then 
and go over here and lay this in your mixture and get you another piece you know and just keep doing the same thing until you get all your meat over here to the I'm gonna set this bowl of meat over here until I get, I'm gonna bring this over here yeah, put that there it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to work with that egg up there. Ugh. Egg is so nasty looking to me. <laughs> but it's a protein. Thank God for the eggs. Thank you Lord. For him we wouldn't have nothing. See so you got this right here. Lay that one there. And then I'll come back. I'll just work on my hands. Make a lot easier. And put some more in there. Good gracious. This is so good, y'all, when it's fixed. My, my, uh, husband's mother, before she passed away, she loved this. She begged me to cook it. She's like, Jason, you gonna cook some more cute stuff? Like if you want it. And we run out to Walmart. I miss her so much. Bless her heart. She's a good lady. Okay, we'll set her bowl down here in the sink. How you doing? I'll set that meat fork in there too. And. Kind of like, I guess, just turn this over real easily. If y'all hear like a noise or something, hear that noise, listen. Of course, my husband's in the room playing guitar as well. But there is an ice maker that's on my counter right here that will make like a humming noise. It's making ice for dinner. I love the ice maker. So I have to go out and buy all that ice. It's gonna melt and it yeah, it's fit so let's just already got it for him for Christmas. Hey Doug Do you like to come and tell them what you think of the cube steak? He's in the room in there. He's on his guitar. I was giving him a uh, comment about what your mom used to say. I didn't know if you want to say anything or not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut these with a fork. Let me get Joe here with me since I Got that little job done, so y'all see what I'm doing. We're gonna pat these with a fork. Hold on a second, y'all. I set it right here. This is what we're gonna do. I usually do it like twice. I'll turn them twice and do this. That way I know they're coated evenly. I don't know, maybe two, three times. You'll know by the way you want it. It's very, it's a very, very easy pit recipe. Give it a little shake. Now I'll lay that over here on the plate. Then I'll do the same with this. I don't know if y'all have a, anybody out there has ever had deer meat. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that has. Um, 
but I love some deer meat. I love deer meat biscuits. Oh my goodness, that's what so good with some garlic powder. Oh, my dad's a deer hunter. Give me just one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna get this. Thank you. Sorry about the camera. I'm camera um, checking you guys. What's up? Lay uh, that on your plate and then just keep doing the same thing and bread them up real good because right now what's happening is your oil's getting hot on the stove. And when your oil's getting hot on the stove, and we're going to put these in there on next. I'm gonna put the others in this mint's next first, so. Sorry, I had to run some paper towels to dug this. That's why I left the camera real quick. And see, like, what I just did, you can, I have to just take that off if you think you don't want all that breading on there. And if you don't like them breaded, don't bread them. A lot of people don't even want breading on them. You know what I mean? So if you don't want no bread, don't bread them. Drop them in the oil the way they are. Salt pepper them if you want salt and pepper them. If you don't, don't. But I like to bread mine because they're better that way. Got some more flavor. It's a little bitty piece, but the little bitty pieces is the best one, y'all. Especially when you put them in all that uh, brown gravy. That's what makes it taste good. That was hot. I just wash my hands and stuff while I'm cooking. Okay. So I'm going to pull this flour and our mixture, not my flour. Cornbread and flour and spices and stuff like that. Back in like I'm gonna be cooking some, uh, I'm gonna be growing a garden here soon. I'm gonna be cooking some fried green tomatoes and some, uh, what else? Let's see, what else could we do, y'all? Fried green tomatoes, uh, fresh okra. And then I'm gonna be doing some like stews. I think it's gonna be fried. I'm gonna do a meatloaf. 
Not going to erase his favorite tea. Pokemon. Use the camera jerking again. This thing, the way I've got it set, I need to come over to the side so y'all. It won't mess with y'all's viewing. I apologize again, you guys. I don't mean to do it on purpose. There's that piece. Is that two? Is that one? Is that... Oh, uh, I think it is. Yeah, I think we... Just had another one unfold itself. They like to hide. There's another piece too. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the sink. And we just go do the same thing. And, um, you can have anything with this. It depends on what you like to eat with this. But, me, I'm the kind of person I like, like some kind of a vegetable. But, I'm gonna eat this sometime by itself. It's good on sandwich. But, really, <laughs> on a sandwich, I might think, what? But sometimes this is good just to eat with like potatoes. You know. And then I have. Here's that long one. Let's get it on the end over here. Just pat it down. You know, don't let your food intimidate you. Uh, when I first started working as a cook, my food intimidated me. I was like, oh no, what do I do? And my boss is like, take charge, that's what you do. And don't let it secure you like I just told you. Let's see what happened there. That'd be good though, I'll put, go ahead and put that over here. She just laughs sometimes, we were good friends, I miss her. I used to look, I used to work at a country kitchen. Back in the day, right after I graduated high school, didn't fully graduate, but you know, I got my GED, so I see that as me graduating, you know what I mean? And just as long as you get something, This meat is like wanting to fall, fall apart too much. They put it through the keeper too much. Oh, over here hollering it's ready to fry it up. <laughs> okay, so. Take this out of the way here. And I'm going to get rid of this. Give me a second, guys. You never keep your flour like that after you cook egg and raw meat. I think everybody knows better to do that anyhow. I don't think you guys are completely, you know. You never do that and get very bad food poisoning. Watch 
in that ditch. We're fixing to deep fry that meat, guys. Taking care of this pan over here. That's to be the dish that I use for getting it real good and so bad. Get that clean. Look, I'm just throwing ends all over the place with that camera. I apologize. Okay, when you get that clean, I'm just walking down with a paper towel. Okay, that one looks ready. I got the last dog. That's my baby. Honey, can I have a paper towel? I forgot. <laughs> I took him back there to him. So let me get another paper towel roll. That it is. And just wipe your dish out. Do you want it? And dry it down real good. I'm telling you, I love that um, dish soap that I have. Okay, when you're done with your dish, that's what we'll be painting the cube steak in. Okay, now we're gonna work on getting it fried. Let's get you over here to the to the oil. Sorry, y'all. Okay, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, quit being silly. Here, we're going to fry these up. And you don't want to fry them too long, or you just want them to get them, you want to get them golden brown. Okay, we'll pick four to start. And we'll go from there. We'll see how this works out, y'all. Y'all right in there, Douglas? He has diabetes. Don't worry about him, poor guy. Doug, you okay in there? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just cooking this uh, cute steak. <laughs> not an eye. I call it eye. When I say eye, y'all, uh, first, y'all, see what I'm talking about? Um, when I say eye, that is like uh, the eye of the stove right here. And I said, let me get that eye, the thing to hold the spoon. That's what I meant by y'all probably going to think I'm crazy. 
I'll say some of the weirdest stuff sometimes. Okay, so what you want to do, now that it's in the oil properly, you want to wait until it is cooking, you know, floats to the top, and let it turn brown on both sides is what you'll do. And then after you do that, after I get them all plated, we'll get them and put them in the thing over here. And we'll put um, some warm gravy over top of them. We'll make sure they get cooked thoroughly. Looking pretty already. We'll go ahead and flip them. I usually flip them four times, five times. I get them to it good, believe me. Get them to it real good. My electric stove, there is something up with it, and I'm going to have to fix that. I think I'm going to put them in my fire here when they come off, this, uh, off the burner. It's my nice kids are out there playing. Uh. So we're gonna let these cook. 